Good morning, children. I want to tell you a story today about the gospel that we will be hearing. And it's a story about Jesus when he goes to the temple. Now, as we know, Jesus goes to the temple quite a number of times in the course of his life. We, of course, all remember the story of Jesus at the temple as a 12-year-old boy. But now as a man, he goes to the temple. And guess what happens? He sees people not behaving properly. There are people outside of the temple selling all kinds of things, selling animals and birds that were used for the ritual sacraments, uh, sacrifices in the temple. But there was something wrong with the spirit of how this was being done. The people were not behaving in a way that was reverent and pleasing to God. And not only that, but there were people changing money, which was another thing that was happening. Sometimes people would bring a certain kind of money that came from the Romans, and it wasn't the right kind of money to use in the temple because it had images on it that were not pleasing to God. So they would change that money, but also they would charge something for that. And so it is that people were behaving in and around the house of God in a way that Jesus just knew was wrong. Their attitude towards it was wrong. And in fact, Jesus even says, you have turned my father's house into a den of thieves. So Jesus gets really mad. And in John's gospel today, it tells us that Jesus took a cord like this, turned it into a whip, yep, and he just drove all those people out of the temple, the money changers and the people selling the animals, and they just drove them right out with this whip. And he said, my father's house should be called a house of prayer. And so it is that occasionally we find Jesus getting mad, mad when something is not really right. And he wants the church just like he wants the temple to be a place where everything that happens is holy and pleasing to God. And nothing else is going on other than the things that make God happy. And in fact, Lent is all about that, isn't it? It's about making God happy. So we make him happy by doing the things that please him and by trying our very best by prayer and by asking God's forgiveness to amend our lives, to make our lives better and more holy and more pleasing to God. So it is that Jesus today has an amazing story that uh, he gives us in the story of the cleansing of the temple and a reminder of how important it is that the church always be a place of holiness.